go ahead and introduce yourself, Kirby. Kirby Cole, that's a 1955 Chevy. Bel Air two door post. All right, two door post. So we go, Kirk is going to take us around, guys, and show us, show us this beauty of the, of the gym here. Him and a couple of buddies, he said, um, built this. This thing is slick. Uh, so, um, let's, uh, so, what did you do to, to it on the inside? It looked like you got the full interior done on it and everything. With, yeah, it's a custom interior. And, uh, all right, guys, welcome. Can we open up the door? So yeah. Go ahead. Right up here right. Wow. Yeah, it's a uh, 350 small block, been punched out 30 over Muncie uh, or a Tremec five speed transmission with a FI Tech uh, fuel injection system on it. Oh, that's the Muncie in there? No, this is a, a, a Tremec. I'm sorry. We had a four speed Muncie and I changed it out. Oh, you changed it out. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people still like those Muncies though, don't they? We've got the interior up top there. I see Nikki back there. Oh yeah. They did a good job. This is a local bit. person to help you do it. Uh, yes, correct. Each and every one of y'all wow. helping us out here with the sale. Okay. Now those aftermarket, yeah, those aftermarket uh, gauge clusters. That's an aftermarket gauge cluster, That's yes not, sir. Is that Dakota Digital? Yes, it is. Wow. And uh, we, uh, buddy, made the uh, console and everything, put the shifter and the radio in. We had so much stuff under the dash, we had to uh, build a console to put that in. That's a nice console. It's fit up in there tight too. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, everything flows together really good, man. I like I like the interior and everything. So just black and gray. Just a huh? driver. You, uh, do you drive it every day, pretty much? Or? No, we just get it on the weekends, have okay. a little fun with it. That's why I build it. It's... Now, how long have you had this? Uh, I had this car about 16 years. No way. It was almost a stock car when I bought it. it but had... you haven't had the paint job. It's no, it's, it, painted, though, it, it it's been like... painted about five years. Wow. Yeah. But we've changed a lot of stuff. It was pretty much a, almost a stock car when I bought it. It just had a 350 small block with a four-speed Muncie in it. Are those full wheels? I uh, know those are Boyd Coddington smoothies. Oh, okay. I, I get the real. I know boys and the fools. They kind of. You can tell they're expensive wheels though. There. Where you going, Jones? What's going? You know what I'm doing, man. I'm getting some footage over here. You know this man next to you right here. He's a rough house. I just met him. I, hey, you know this joker here? Unfortunately, we oh, shared man. a jail cell together one time. <laughs> oh, oh, Count. We, we in the family. Y'all know Get that thing out of my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's on Count's customs right there. Everybody he knows, knows Count. I hate, he knows I hate <laughs> those cameras. Every time he comes around, he's carrying that camera. <laughs> that old Count's customs right there. That man, I'm, he's actually my mentor. He's actually we've done a lot of um, builds and he's helped me out and. He's a good builder. Yeah, he is, man. Yeah. All right, let's get back to this beauty here, this 55 though. Okay, so you, now this is a, I see you got a, a aftermarket aluminum uh, radiator. And, yes. And you said that's a um, 350 in there? That's a 350, we punched it out uh, 30 over, so it's actually 355. Wow. With uh, aluminum metal brock heads on it and uh, FI Tech fuel injection system, throttle body system on it. Now what is this right here? What's that there? That's my vacuum boost can from the brakes. Wow, okay. So you also, you got a um, cylinder and you we got power disc brakes all the way around. So why do you have to have that um, power boost? It just makes it stop a lot better or what? Yeah, that's a big car. Wow. So uh, need a lot more brakes than we did with the uh, drum brakes. I like how you, I mean, it's, she's clean in there. So is, um, is that powder coated with your, as far as your- um, That's a powder coated intake, yes. It looked good. With now, uh, Sanderson headers. So I see my buddy, we was looking at that quad up in, up in here. I mean, that's that's different. Yeah, it's a custom breather. That's pretty, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Is that stainless? It is stainless. Wow, you can tell. Mm -hmm. That thing look awesome. Man, I tell you what, this is really put together nice right there, man. I mean, I know this is, this is I know you're proud of this baby here. So you go to a lot of car shows around here? Uh, yeah, pretty Just much. Cruise ins, cruise -ins you know, yeah, anything get out, with, hang out with old hot rodders. That's what I like to do. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you just letting me look at this. You know, earlier it was so loud you couldn't hear right. anything. I said, man, right. I got to get this on tape here because this, you know, everybody likes the 55s and 56s. And they stuff, do. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hey, I want to hey, appreciate your time. Hey, thank you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate your time, man. And I'm sure I'll be seeing y'all on cruise ins and stuff. So, you will. Um, like I said, look at the channel on, on the classic Chevy. Okay. The CJ. And okay. You'll see this baby on there with the other car shows here. Man. All right. So you got a beautiful truck with a Ford motor in it. God said, "Here's them Ford motor. He got better than it." I said, "I told him I could. I could get no difference in them." Another guy said, "Yeah, he probably had rebuilt Ford a hundred of them." Some people take it by heart.
All right, guys, so hey, we just did it, 1955, with my buddy I just met here at the car show, and um, he got a beautiful 1955 sedan, and hey, I'm going to put this um, on my channel to review, just like we did the 56 last week, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this vehicle, and like I said, if you got a good cigar and a fast car truck, smoke them if you got them, guys.